All right, everybody, today we're gonna go over the helicoil tapping arm. I'm gonna show you guys a demonstration and a little bit about what makes this arm such a great unit. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, the assembled arm here. So you'll see we have our 1500 RPM helicoil motor, our filtered lubricator with the built-in regulator. That way I can dial my PSI for my front end assembly depending on the size helicoil that I'm gonna be running. So you'll see these arms are nicely equipped with a roll that we can put right on the arm. And then we put the helicoils in a strip feed here so that we can do fast, easy helicoil insertion for any of your thread repair. All right, so starting with the motor, you'll see this is the helicoil motor, 1500 RPM motor that we use for driving the helicoils. Each motor comes with a, a small adapt or a large adapter or a small adapter. So these adapters are used as bridges for different sizes of front end assemblies. So in this case, for the large, or for the small adapter, we're going anywhere from, this is for the 256 to quarter inch front end assembly. And then this is our large adapter for 5 16 to half inch. And this adapter goes onto the motor, and this is what is used to bridge the motor and the front end assembly. Everything's left-handed thread, so we put that on, and now the, the motor's ready to receive a front-end assembly. The other component I'll show you, it's a friction clutch. So the friction clutch is used for our small adapter for your small helicoils. So anything from 256 to 440 is what I'm going to use or recommend the friction clutch for. In the small adapter, we pull out the stock um, insert and we put in the friction clutch. And this is just really gonna help us with those smaller holes to uh, limit um, the torque and stop us from damaging our front end assembly or the threads that we're repairing. So next you'll see, this is an example of a front end assembly. This is a 3 8 16 front end assembly. This is our nozzle. This is the mandrel. And each one comes with a bag of cushions and spacers. So we use the cushion goes into the large adapter and it just it helps cushion your your mandrel your driver and then different spacers here for setting my depth so that way another advantage with the arm is you can set the depth so that way I can drive the helicoil to the proper depth every single time and I'm setting that here with these spacers and I'm putting it on my mandrel so I'll put one of these on here as an example. And we would place, a, we'd place one of our cushions inside the large adapter here. And we place the front assembly on. And again, left-handed threads, and and that's uh, that's about it. So now we're ready. So today, what I'll show you, I've got my arm set up here to drive quarter uh, quarter twenty helicoils on this strip feed, and we've got a nice aluminum piece here ready to place those. This is a blind hole. We're going to drive them to the bottom. The depth's already set. Automatically reverse. So it automatically drives it to the depth, and then automatically reverses. So you'll, you'll hear the motor has a hissing, that's normal, um, it's designed that way. First things first, I'm going to set my pressure here. So something to note is every front end assembly has a desired PSI to set your air pressure correctly for the helicoil. So in this case, it's set for 45 PSI, so I'm going to take my regulator, I'm going to adjust my pressure, set it to 45, lock it in, and now we're ready to drive the helicoil. So I have everything set up here on a strip feed knob. So I'm just gonna simply line the arm up over the hole. I'm not gonna fight it, I'm gonna let it do the work. So we'll drive it on down. Automatically reverse. Now we have a perfectly placed helicoil. And that's all I have for today. If, uh, if you need more information on our helicoil flex arm, give us a call. Uh, or shoot us an email. You can visit our website at flexmachinetools.com or 800-837-2503. And we look forward to helping you out with your next thread repair job.
Thank you.